My husband is right all of the time. Give him some peace and quiet. The last thing he wants is a chick that is nagging at him. If my man does not like it, then I'm not doing it. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again. And on today's episode, we have a video here titled Woman Admits Men Are Right About Everything. Modern Women Cannot Find or Keep a Man. And this is by Modern Women Archives Reviews. Now, guys, just a bit of a heads up before we jump into today's episode, okay? Um, we're going to see this woman who we're kicking it off with talk about how men are right and here are the things that women need to do in order to keep a man. And just right off the bat, I wanna say that I'm always skeptical about these sorts of videos because you have women like this who say they come on TikTok, they come on Instagram, whatever. Um, they turn themselves into dating coaches. And I think a lot of them don't actually believe what they're saying. They're just trying to sell overpriced dating courses and things like this to men. Um, they don't actually believe what they're saying in a lot of these cases. So just a heads up before we jump in, let's take a listen. As always, guys, don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments. What do you think about what this woman is going to be saying? I have said it once and I'll say it again. If you do not want your husband or your boyfriend to cheat, it's very simple what you need to do. Here are the five things, guys. Initiate intimacy. Don't make your man beg, okay? I mean, every day. Number two, make sure there is a home-cooked meal on the table. If you guys don't live together, that's fine. You could bring him over some food to his house. Number three, clean. Clean the house. Pop over to his house, surprise him, clean his house. Number four, do his laundry. It is such a easy thing to do and can go a long way. Number five, when he gets home, give him some peace and quiet. The last thing he wants is a chick that is nagging at him, complaining, asking him to do things that you know he's not gonna wanna do. So give him some peace and quiet. It's very simple, ladies. If you want to keep your man happy, do those five things. See, this woman is actually right about a bunch of these things, you know? Men will appreciate it if you initiate intimacy. Men don't like initiating intimacy all the time. That's stupid, okay? Um, she talks here about cooking and cleaning and things that men appreciate. Of course, these are not wrong. Um, I don't think that people should be cheating no matter what, but that's just me personally. I don't think you should have to try and prevent someone from cheating. I think that just cheaters are just awful people and they're just going to cheat regardless. Um, yeah, but she says these things and you guys can surely understand that when she posts this to TikTok or where she posts this to Instagram, wherever it is that she's posted, probably TikTok, um, that she's going to have a bunch of women who are roasting her in the comments and stuff. And I personally think that a lot of women say this crap and they don't actually believe it. They're just kind of saying it because they want to grow an audience of men who are like, wow, a woman who finally appreciates things and understands. Um, but I don't think that's the case at all. I think a lot of these people are just preying off of men, to be honest with you. Okay. And guys, she's not entirely wrong here. Okay. Men, are, we're not complicated creatures. It's not very difficult to keep a man. If you are struggling to keep a man as a woman, you are doing something egregiously wrong. Like very, very wrong. If you can't have a long-term relationship with a man, let's continue some peace and quiet it's very simple ladies if you want to keep your man happy do those five things i love how the implication here by the way is that um you know <clears throat> these women want to even keep their man happy i see a lot of these girls who are out here dating and they couldn't care less about a man's happiness why because if you're a woman who cares about a man's happiness, you're a pick me. You're a, you know, you're just stupid. You're not a womanist. You don't believe in women's strong independence speech. Okay. You, you know, you don't care, care about this rhetoric at all. So a lot of these women do not care about a man's happiness. And, you know, womanism teaches this to women as well. You have older women teaching this to younger women, bitter ones who can't get a man. Oh, you don't need a man. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. And then they cry when they're 35 and they have to build a family of cats. Problem solved. 
It's not complicated to keep a man happy, is it? But modern women don't focus on what they can give to their man. They just focus on what they can get from him. They want the man to do so many things and they don't want to do anything in return. The rules are simple, but modern women still don't understand why they can't keep a man around. They're lost! All right, let me explain something. If my man doesn't like it, then I'm not doing it. Mm. Let me rewind. If my man does not like it, then I'm not doing it. <laughs> and I know some of the younger generation might be screaming right now, but hear me out. That's my man. That's my heart and soul, my best friend. He is my partner. We are in this together forever. And I don't know where it got lost, but your partner, spouse, husband, wife, they're supposed to be up here above almost everything else, including yourself. So I know that if he doesn't want me to do something, he has a good reason for it. And I know that he has my best interest at heart, just like I do for him. So I can be independent, opinionated, and be my own woman while still respecting and listening to my man. See, here's the thing that I have about these videos, guys, is that you'll see um, women make these videos, but I don't think I've seen one of a woman in her, in her 20s making stuff like this. It's always a woman in her 30s. Like, check this out. We'll wind it back. Okay, look at this. You know, it's always some woman in her 30s, um, incredibly long nails on. Like, look at this. This woman's talking about cooking and cleaning houses and, and things like this. Um, and I don't know. Can you cook and clean with these nails? It'd be a giant pain in the backside, I would assume. So, uh, like, I don't really believe it, right? Let's, you know, look at this. It's always women in their 30s who are like, well, now I want to respect a man. I don't really see these videos happening for women in their 20s. It's, al it's always the girls who, you know, who get to this point and then, then they're like, well, now I want to submit to a man. And this woman isn't even talking about submitting to a man, by the way. It sounds like she still wants to be strong and independent at the end there. Okay. It's just very interesting how we realize that men were right or we want to submit to a man, quote unquote, but we want to do this later on. You know, we want to put this off as long as possible after we've had all of our fun. And now that the fun is all over, now we return to now we want to be like um, someone who's feminine and pleasant to be around and non-argumentative, okay? And that doesn't mean that you have... To, the thing that these women get confused is that that doesn't mean that you have to be a doormat, okay? It just means don't be annoying. Don't start arguments over nonsense. Don't stress your man out. That doesn't mean that you can't have your own opinions about things, right? That, that's not what this is about. It's not about being a doormat and just being like some servant. This is what these women get confused. It's just men are very happy with very little. Just don't be a pain in the backside. Don't start arguments over nothing. Okay, just be someone who is pleasant and calming to be around. These women have the effect, right, guys? There's a reason um, why I don't go on podcasts and things like this. One of them is a safety concern, okay? But the other one is being around women like this, just increase your blood pressure, guys. I'm trying to live a long and happy life, okay? I don't need to talk to these women. They give me a headache. Um, and, you know, you can only imagine how it is for the, the men in their lives. I feel, I feel very sad for them. Now, shout out if these women aren't playing some sort of act, that's totally fine. Shout out to them, okay? But in a lot of instances, I go to their profiles and I see that they're like a dating coach and they're selling like courses to men for like $500 and stuff like this. And I'm just like, ah, get out of here, you know? He has a good reason for it. And I know that he has my best interest at heart, just like I do for him. So I can be independent, opinionated, and be my own woman while still respecting and listening to my man. I don't know why people get this idea that like, oh, I want to I wanna be, um, I want to be strong and independent, but I want to be in a relationship. If you want to be independent, this is something to me that I don't really understand. If you want to be an independent person, maybe don't be in a relationship because the definition of a relationship is to be interdependent. You know, I don't understand this. If you want to be a strong and independent woman, that's fine. Maybe don't be in a relationship then. Always confuses me. Very much confusing. That's all there is to it.
This makes perfect sense, but modern women don't seem to understand this. They want to go out and dress how they want and do anything they want, regardless of what their man thinks. And if he doesn't agree, they call him insecure. The truth is, those 304s have no respect for their partners. And because they don't respect their partners, they don't love them either. If they did, they would take on board what their partner has to say. That's exactly right. I'm probably gonna lose some followers over this and oh well. <laughs> My husband is right all of the time. Yeah, you heard me say it. He is right all of the time. See, this is again why I don't believe these videos is like, this is something that's nice to say, but nobody's right all of the time. I'm not right all of the time. You watching this, you're probably not right all the time. Everybody makes mistakes. And this is what makes me kind of uncomfortable about these videos is I don't, I don't trust them, right? They're a little bit sketchy. My man is right all the time. Who the hell is right all the time? Like what? <laughs> I don't mean just like, oh, he was right about something small or this or that. No, he is right about everything. When I was talking about quitting my job back in November, December, and I was so against it. He talked me into it, basically. He was my voice of reason. He is always my voice of reason. That man knows better. He knows so much more than people give credit. It does not have to be anything big. It could be a small situation, but that man is always right all of the time. I don't hear any female saying that on this platform or any platform for that matter. They don't say it because they're too busy complaining about the patriarchy and being consumed with victim mindset. They want to be right all of the time and never want to take accountability for their mistakes. And honestly, a lot of women that say, oh my God, I'm right all the time and my husband's always wrong. That's disturbing to me. But yeah, Modern Women Archives is absolutely right here when he talks about um, the women on this platform just saying womanist garbage all of the time. Like, I don't know if you guys know, right? But if I went to, um, if I went to TikTok and I started posting videos, I started posting these clips, I absolutely guarantee you I would be banned so damn quickly. Okay, because you're not allowed to say anything contrary to the message guys you're not allowed to say anything contrary to womanism even though womanism is something that i don't know i think anyone with two brain cells to rub together can understand damages women um but you're not allowed to say anything contrary to what these people believe particularly on tiktok i don't know tiktok just instantly bland, uh, bans you it's totally fine get this about these social media platforms as well i think um instagram reels is also quite bad but i think instagram's gotten a little bit better with the censorship um, but TikTok's just an absolute no-go. If you say something they don't like, instantly banned. But notice how these platforms, guys, that don't allow you to speak out against womanism, what actually happens is they are totally fine uh, promoting questionable content where people are taking, I don't know, photos without clothes on, for example. Like if you guys do some digging on Instagram or you, you go to TikTok and things like this, they're perfectly fine doing content that demeans women, um, that is not good for women at all that you know makes women come across as objects right this this is what these people say i don't want to be treated like an object but the whole platform is geared towards um, making them appear as an object that's all totally fine but if you speak out against it right even if you have women's best interests at heart these platforms will just boot you off by the way just absolutely boot you off okay so modern women, women archives uh reviews is absolutely right here when he says that all of these platforms, they're just sitting there talking about womanist garbage the whole time, because that's totally acceptable. If you don't talk about that stuff, or if you go against it, I mean, then you'll just be instantly, uh, instantly booted off the platform. So let's continue. The time of my husband's always wrong. That's disturbing to me. Have you guys noticed that some of my videos have gone missing over here on YouTube? That is because I am slowly moving them over to locals where I can actually host them without the risk of getting in trouble. If you are not aware, many creators are starting to move over to places like locals, rumble, etc. Because YouTube is not really a free speech platform. 
So if you are interested in supporting the channel and getting access to videos that are no longer available here, make sure that you come and join us over on Locals. The link will be in the video description down below. Supporters get access to their own exclusive videos that are no longer available to the public. So make sure you go to the link in the description and join us over there now. But anyway, guys, back to today's episode. That's a weird, a weird energy to have. Your husband is a smart man. You might not think that. He's a smart guy. Give him more credit. Let your husband have an opinion. Is that crazy? No, because he's a person too. I come to my husband for advice, for everything, because he is my husband and my teammate and my life partner and my ride or die, because that man has a lot of really great values. He has a lot of really good life experiences. Granted, he's 32 year old operator it's in the same area that he did that he grew up in, but he's been through a lot of stuff. And I take into account everything that that man has been through and everything that his heart and his mind have been through. Give your man more credit. It's a shame there are not more women like this because there would be more happier marriages and less divorces. It takes a particular relationship dynamic to make a marriage flourish. And she seems to have done it perfectly. Congratulations. So, you know, shout out to these women. Um, if they're actually being genuine, I personally am always quite skeptical of these videos, like I said. Okay, but let's run through the women again before we wrap up today's episode. So you have this woman here who says that here are the five things to do or that you need to do as a woman in order to prevent your man from cheating. Again, I don't think we should focus on preventing cheating rather than, you know, just doing something that maybe our partner appreciates is probably the wise approach to that. Okay, cheaters are going to cheat. They're not good people. Um, but again, she says five things to do to keep your man happy. I can already see the comments that are going to be on TikTok of women just being absolutely pissed off about this particular video because, again, guys, if you mention doing anything for a man, it's a bad thing, right? You're somehow, you're a pick-me, um, you're brainwashed, you're this, you're that. And all the women who are saying these comments, by the way, are perpetually single. Right? You know, oh, you can't do things for a man, your sister, you're, you're being oppressed, right? Don't do, do things for a dude. And it's funny because all of the women saying that, they're all single, always, all the time. So we have this woman, number one. Uh, then we have this woman, number two here. Again, always a coincidence, guys, how they're in their 30s before they start saying stuff like this, and they have to post it online. Anyway, but we have this woman here who says that she can maintain her independence and trust her... Um, you know, her husband's judgment at the same, same time, fine. You know, I'm, all, I'm just a very skeptical guy. I'm a very skeptical person when it comes to these videos uh, because I've seen a lot, of, a lot of people, particularly women, obviously, who are very staunch womanists, okay? They are, I'm strong and independent. I don't need a man. You know, they have pink hair, all of this nonsense in their 20s, and then they get to their 30s, and then they make videos like this. Like I have seen exactly what it looks like. And I've also seen some of these girls, they post the videos and they don't believe the things that they're saying at all. Shout out to these women um, if they do actually believe them, but you never really know. Um, so this is a woman here who's saying that she trusts her hus husband's judgment. And guys, I've said this so many times, it is really not hard to keep your men happy. Just don't start arguments over nonsense. Don't be a detriment to his life. Be pleasant to be around. Like these are things that I personally would just constitute as being a normal, respectful human being. Okay, that doesn't mean you have to give undue respect to just strangers and things like this, but just be a normal human being who's not aggravating to be around and you will go a very, very long way. Okay, very, very long way, particularly with men. Men are very, like we are not hard to make happy. Really, really not hard. And then we have this woman here who says that her husband is right about absolutely everything. Now, hopefully this comes from a, from a good place. Um, I personally don't think that everyone is right about everything all of the time, but you know, I'm wrong about plenty of things all of the damn time, but you know, maybe that's just, I, I don't know guys. I don't, I don't believe this stuff of, well, X person is always right. I don't think X person is uh, always right at all. Um, 
but yeah she's totally spot on the mark here about giving people credit particularly men a really good way to keep a man around is just to show some gratitude if a man gets something for you or he does something for you or whatever the case may be if you show a bit of gratitude it will keep him around it is so easy to keep men around if you just appreciate them i have seen men absolutely move mountains and do enormous things for women simply because those women appreciate them the average woman does not appreciate the average man at all the average dude is completely invisible he gets treated like dirt he gets treated as pretty much subhuman um, for even trying to talk to the average woman so you know if you show a little bit of appreciation it certainly goes a long way particularly with long-term partners and things like this you see this is why these women particularly the ones over on TikTok and stuff, they really don't have long-term partnerships is because they're not appreciative of anything. They just kind of feel as though everything should be handed to them on a silver platter. And that's why they end up single guys. Uh, that's why they end up with 35 cats. I always say it as like a meme, um, but these women actually do end up with cats. Like you see it in videos sometimes. They'll be, sometimes they'll be like meowing in the background or I've even seen a few women recently as I've been covering these videos, they will pan their cameras and I kid you not, they will have a few cats. I thought that this was a cat down here at first, but it's, I believe it's a dog that just walked past. But absolutely hilarious stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think these women are being genuine? Okay. Um, do you think that they're telling the truth or do you think they're trying to sell men on something? Let me know. As always, guys, we're going to be leaving it there. Make sure you take care of yourselves and I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.